YouTube, my name is What Can I Change? Today we're going to be talking about Angus Cloud. And we heard that he has passed away today, so I wanted to go ahead and have a quick conversation about it and just give my quick little feelings on it. Obviously, I don't know the man, um, and he is from um, Euphoria, but I do want to talk about what, what happened with him and everything that's going on. So let's get right into this. So Angus Cloud, Euphoria star found dead at 25, 911 calls for possible overdose. So, here we go. After this ad, <coughs> don't forget to go check out this game. Uh, today's video is not sponsored. Can you answer for a priority overdose week 14? One week at 19. 19. One week at 19. You can show me 9 before taking vehicle tow. Can you put me on a call for 14? Wait. The overdose that just came in? Hey, firm. Copy. It's gonna be Harpy's advising that her son has possibly overdosed. He doesn't have a pulse. Medical is started as well. I'm gonna show you in route code three if I can get a unit to cover, please. One out of eighteen. Then we can cover code three. Copy seventy three, you copy. Seven three, one more time. I have 19 and 18 in route to an overdose, code 3. Our peace sign has no pulse. Seven, thank you. Sorry, I'll step in for 19. It's going to be a, a DOA, possibly an overdose. Use device 73. Copy, was he pronounced? Hey, from by OG. Do you have the time? No. So the only thing I know about this young man is I did see a couple of interviews with him and I noticed that he had possibly been under under the influence of drugs. And that's the only uh, interaction that I had known about him. But it talks about more. I went, I went and read about him a little bit more and did say that he did struggle with mental illness. And that is why I'm making this video on him today, because I recently went through another uh, person who was big in the uh, space he wasn't an actor but he he passed away a few years ago back in 2019 i believe and his name was etika um and he was on the ewn network he was very uh charismatic when it came to playing super smash bros and all that theft stuff um i believe his real name was desmond um and so let me get that right real quick i just i just want to say man i was watching that video of the young man etika and what, what happened with him is either name, his name is either Etika or Etika, but his real name is Desmond, which was actually my son's name. So he made a video when he was talking about, you know, how he's getting ready to take his life and he's sad at all this stuff he was going to see. It was so crazy. It was the most realist video I think I've ever seen, like as far as somebody who's about to take their life. He's literally contemplating and thinking about, man, I'm not going to get to watch some people grow up. Some of my friends, I'm not going to watch them get married. Dang it, I'm not going to get to watch the end of teen, uh, um, Attack on Titans. Man, it sucks. Ah, but, you know, it is a part of life. And he took his life. I mean, shortly after making that video. The thing about mental illness, guys, and struggling with drug, drug abuse, man, and I, I'm a person who has gone through my share of abuse of drugs, f obviously food, drugs, alcohol, um, pornography, and sex, uh, sex addiction. Man, I... Uh, a person who parents were also addicts as well. Struggling every day to continue life and to continue doing these things. That's the problem. And when I even and I know some people may be against this, but this is why I also advocate against being careful on like marijuana and stuff like that. When you allow yourself to always try to stay in this state of bliss or stay in this state of I don't care or stay in this state of numbness, um, it leads to worse mental illness, man. Um I remember smoking so much, man, and I, I thought I was doing well um, because I was in this constant state of happiness, joy. I didn't care about a whole lot, even though I still had anxiety and all that. I just got to the point where I just didn't care. And so that's why I would drink so much and I would, you know, smoke so much. But then I was just smoking exclusively and I didn't drink anymore. And I tried to stay in this state of pure happiness, stay in a state of never being sad, never being depressed and all this stuff. And I joined a community um, that was the same way. I'm sure y'all have heard of them, like wake and bake when you wake up. Um, 
smoke all day long. If you're having a bad day, smoke. If you're having a great day, smoke. If you're having a blah day, smoke. It's just constantly trying to stay in this state of mind because smoking uh, opens your mind and all this stuff. And some people use drugs because they're depressed. Some people use drugs to try to open their mind. Some people use drugs to stay in this constant state of happiness. And what I learned, man, is when I was using these drugs and doing all this stuff, my mental health just got worse and worse and worse because you don't ever really learn to... Um, live with this stuff. It is a very hard life. And I think that's what makes life difficult, right? I know people are like, man, it's a first world problem. Um, we don't have to deal with this. We don't have to deal with that. We got clean water. We got this stuff. But you got to understand that makes sometimes makes life harder for some individual. Because imagine you, you imagine life is so easy. All you have to do is sit around and think about um, your life. You think about the stuff that you could be, where you could be doing. You watch other people. You compare yourself. When you're literally struggling every single day to pay the bills or something like that, but you are going to work, you are working hard, days tend to go by. You don't really have a whole lot of time to just sit and ponder. But the easier life gets, and this is what you notice with some people who get money, the easier life gets, the harder it gets mentally because all the stuff that you thought was so important all the stuff that you were putting your mind so hard to is now gone now you have to live with yourself you have to look in the mirror every day and that gets tough on every single body we see how rampant it is going through our young children today they want to be this they want to be that they want to be youtubers they want to be a different sex they want to be a different gender they want to be gay they want to be lesbian they want to be a gangster they want to be a hoe they want to be a thought you see them going through all of this stuff and living this life that because they're just they just they just so empty and when people don't seem to find something to fill this void, they turn to drugs. You see, the a lot of people who are addicts, right? They talk about the reason they become addicted because they get, they become unchallenged. They get bored. And so, th for these two young men that I read up on, man, I don't think they were bored, but I think they just got to the point where they just couldn't live life without for for Desmond he couldn't live life because his mental health was completely shattered through social media and all the comments and everything was getting to him to where he finally had a mental breakdown and he couldn't get out of it he couldn't handle the negative comments he couldn't handle the fame anymore he didn't care about anything he had let it soak him up so much and that he stopped caring about everything he stopped caring about money he stopped caring about his fans he stopped caring about all of it until he got to the point where he just said, you know what? Life's not even worth it. Why do we even live? And that happens, probably happened to this same guy, Angus. I don't know this, but everybody gets to this point where it's like, why even live anymore? I've had this thoughts and I actually talked this out. I try not to keep those comments to myself. So I have mentors in my life and I was having a conversation not too long ago talking about why am I even alive? Like, I feel like sometimes I have no purpose. I feel like I'm not doing anything. Like, I, I can't live for money. I don't really, like, I would love to have money. That's great. But I, I can't live for that. I can't live just to be famous because what is fame? Like compared to God, it's really nothing. I'm still just one person on this earth. So fame doesn't really mean anything. I'm only as famous as, as people who know who I am. Okay, what about notoriety or, or being on TV shows, being an actor and all those kind of stuff? Not fame necessarily, but living out some kind of dream. Even then, it's like, but what's the point of that? You know, at the end of the day, that all goes away. And I found myself in this place wondering why I should keep going on. I didn't want to take my life, but I was to the point where it's just like, man, I just got no motivation. I'm just so sad because you come to this, you come to this midlife crisis. I'm sure, um, so a lot of people do. You come to, but these people were younger. But you come to this midlife crisis, and you just kind of like, man, I just don't know what I'm even doing anymore. And what I want to say to that is that you got to really understand what your purpose is in this life, and that's why I always try to say this, and I'm talking to you guys as well as talking to myself. When you keep going in this life and you keep moving forward in this life, you got to start making it about other people in your life. You know, I make my purpose to teach you guys and to help my family and be a family man, be a good husband, be a good father, the best that I can. And I also try to teach you guys of the downfalls of my life. I try to make sure you guys don't make the same mistakes I do. I try to make sure you guys are listening and not letting everything just come to you. And you just take it with a grain of salt. I tell you guys not to try to get yourself so indulged in addiction, not to get yourself so indulged in money, not to try to get yourself indulged in the opposite sex or the same sex. I try to tell you guys to stay away from these things and try to find a real peace and a real happiness 
man, not even the happiness, because happiness comes and goes, but trying to find a peace in your life. Because that's the hardest place to come to, man. And that's what my purpose is. That's why I get on these live streams. That's why I make so many videos, even though I know, guys, it's overwhelming. Every video I try to make, I try to have a lesson in them. You know, I spend all day looking into this stuff. That way, when I come up here and make a video for you guys, I'm trying to come with you some knowledge. That's why I talk so much about protecting children. It's because this stuff really matters. And I tell you, even in your local community, in your local place, because not everybody's going to hop on a webcam. Not everybody can hop on a video. I understand that. So some of you guys, y'all can do it with your friends and family. There's somebody who's probably going through something and just you being that light every single day. And then they can be the same light to you. I, I, I want to also say this before I continue. Don't always try to be the strongest person in the room. Meaning there are going to be days and there's going to be weeks and months and maybe even years where you're down and out. You're depressed. You're going through it. You're losing faith. You're losing hope, especially if you're staying on social media all the time. You start to lose all this stuff. So that's when you need to take a break for yourself. Let some people pour into you and then you get the refuel then get back out to it and start helping other people. And we just do this whole circular thing away. Somebody's helping you, you're helping them, and we just keep it going. But it's, I understand, once you start getting into your 40s and 50s and you start seeing it all, you start seeing death and tragedy and all this stuff, you find a hard way to keep going. Just keep helping people. If you can just help one person, even if it's just saying hello, smiling, anything to get you past those mundane days where it's super hard, because if you don't find a way to keep helping people and you keep self-isolating, you keep saying you're an introvert and I got to stay to myself and stick to myself, it is a matter of time before you fall into this place that these two young men did where you want to take your life and it's all over. Or you overdose on drugs because you're trying to reach this feeling. This life is tough, man. Um, Mentally, it's probably the toughest time to live because you literally can see anything and everything you want. Anything from people getting shot, from people getting killed. You can get on Twitter at any moment or whatever you call it now, Twitter or X. You can get on there at any moment, watch gory stuff. You can watch people be beheaded. You can watch people get in fights. You can watch people break their necks. I've seen so much stuff because I make all these videos, right? And it's heartbreaking because you never know when your time is going to come. And it can be scary. It could be very exact. It could be a lot of anxiety. And you guys might want to actually do drugs and try to make this pain go away. But it won't work. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. That's all I got on this, really. You guys, talk to somebody or help somebody. There's no, we know, none of us know when we're going to go, but don't expedite, the, don't expedite your life because you never know who you could be to somebody. That's all.